Right, guys, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about beryllium copper valve seats. So, a lot of you might have heard of beryllium copper. <coughs> it's quite toxic stuff, the dust is quite toxic. And nowadays, back in the day, they used to use respirators when they actually used to machine it. Nowadays, you just use flood coolant and you're pretty much all right. Um, there's a guy at work who's got some cufflinks made out of beryllium copper, weirdly enough, we got onto that subject. But anyway, um, so why do we use beryllium copper and what is it used for? Beryllium copper is used for uh, titanium valves, basically. So the uh, thermal conductivity of titanium isn't really that good. And obviously you're using titanium valves because you have a very hot engine generally, you're using stuff like turbos, stuff like that, you're using high boost, which means you've got a lot of, uh, you, you can get some you know, thermal issues and stuff like that. Um, you're producing more power, so you're going to get more waste heat, and that waste heat, most of it pisses past your, uh, inter your exhaust valves, intake valves, it's getting a bit late. <laughs> um, and... The thermal conductivity of uh, titanium really basically isn't as good as steel and because of this your valves will start to overheat and then when they get overheat they get weak and then when they slam into that valve seat they will start to break, uh, they'll start to actually mushroom and bend. Um, so what, we, what they do is they basically fit um, beryllium copper uh, valve seats. Why? Beryllium copper itself is quite soft, but it's one of the best thermal conductors out there. I think it might be. Is it the best thermal conductor? Is gold? Doesn't really matter. I'll put it on the screen. But it is absolutely fucking shit hot. Is copper at conducting electric uh, heat and electricity? But one of the problems with um, copper is that it's soft. Soft plastic edges. The soft. Soft plastic edges. Hard and. Yes, it work hardens and all the rest of it, but you'd have to pre-run all your valves in. And even then, when copper's at its hardest, it's not as uh, hard enough to take the impacts of these valves slamming into it. Um, so you dope it with a bit of ber beryllium and booyah, all of a sudden you've got a very, very strong alloy um, with excellent thermal properties. And in a sense, that's what you need. So a lot of the heat from your valve... Um, bit stubby but we'll go with it the heat from your valve some of it goes through your valve guide but because there isn't di direct contact there it's not that great um, obviously this is an exhaust valve some people use titanium valves as well for intake valves just because it's lightweight um, which is all to do with its inertia that's a bit of a shit valve seat why does it do that but when your valves are closed and they spend quite a lot of their time closed, a lot of the heat is transferred due to direct contact. And I'll put a gap in there, I should basically do that. Because of this direct contact, a lot of the heat is transferred into the head because there's a bloody water jacket here, which is constantly been replenished with cooler fluid. So the temperature here is quite low. That means that thermally the flux wants to go this way like this and as that happens it chills down your valve seats compared to what's around it oh, all of this is cool but this is where your valves make contact with it so as your titanium valves get hot the heat will naturally want to progress through your valve seats into your head and out your coolant so this is how they keep titanium valves because of their lower thermal conductivity this is how they keep them cool that's what beryllium copper valve seats are about it's as simple as that really. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit. 